Thank you, Lord. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. In Jesus' precious name, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Good morning, everyone. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Good morning, prophets came on today. God bless you. Um, <clears throat> I'm on this morning doing some prophetic prayer. Um, as sometimes I get a lot of prayer requests, amen? A lot of prayer requests. And we know that if some requests, we all need prayer for certain different things. So I'm um, just doing some prayer of faith this morning. For those who are going through some sicknesses and wherever the Lord uh, allows me to go on this morning for prayer. Amen. So um, those who are intercessors, I, I ask that you pray with me. Amen. On this morning in the name of Jesus. Father God, I come before your throne as humble as I know Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I ask that you, Lord God, forgive us for any sins known and unknown as we come. Each and every one of us come before your throne, Lord God. So that way we are washed and cleansed and purified, Lord God, in your presence, Heavenly Father. I ask that each and every individual that is praying along with me, that they remove their spiritual sandals off of their feet and they come before you, Lord God, with purity, Lord God, and reverence, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We believe by faith, Lord God, that there shall be some things taking place on today, Lord God. That somebody shall be healed, Lord God, by faith, that somebody shall be delivered, Lord God, by faith on today, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, I love you, I lift you up, Lord God, and I just bless your holy name on today, in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for this wonderful day on today, in the name of Jesus, you're worthy, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, 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 thank you, Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, hallelujah. So before I get into this prayer on today, <clears throat> I am going to give some information, amen, some information that is much needed as we go before the Lord and ask for prayer, amen. So good morning to everyone again. Um, when, we, when we ask for prayer, when we ask for prayer, prayer the first thing <clears throat> that we have to make sure is that we have faith, amen, because faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. So we have to make sure that we are in a place where we have faith, even just a little bit of mustard seed faith will help. Amen. Because it's by faith. Amen. That things happen. Amen. So we have to have faith. God is a God of spirit. So in order to serve him, we have to have faith because we cannot see God. Okay. So we have to have faith. Amen. For everything that is concerning God because he is a spirit. And this is of a spiritual nature. Everything that we're praying for is going to be done in a spirit realm. Amen. By faith. And then it will manifest in the physical realm. It can be immediately. It is up to the faith. But everything concerning God can be done immediately. Amen. So we have to have faith. That's first and foremost. Uh, number two, we have to be in a place of forgiveness. A lot of times we have unforgiveness in our hearts, you know, in our minds. And, and, and if we have unforgiveness, amen, 
How can we how can we ask for forgiveness? How can we ask God to do something for us if we're holding unforgiveness and bitterness towards somebody else? So we have to be at a place where our heart is pure before the Lord, where we are asking him to forgive us. And not just like just something that's that's without meaning, but literally asking God to take the bitterness and the unforgiveness from your heart. And if and, and if you don't know, if any of us don't know what it is, then we pray, Lord God, whatever it is, Lord God. If it's something that I'm harboring in my heart, that I'm holding in my heart, Lord God, that I'm doing unbeknownst to me, Lord God, reveal it to me. Allow me to be able to pray for it as I get this revelation, Heavenly Father. So we've got to be at a place of forgiveness. We've got to have pure faith, amen, that God is God and that God can do miracles in our lives, amen. So that's why, we, that's why I'm making sure I'm giving explanation as to what it is because I, ha I too have been through things. I have been through sicknesses, but because of faith, but because of asking God to forgive me for the things that I didn't even know of and asking God to reveal it to me. And when it was revealed to me, I confessed it out of my mouth and the Lord was ready, already there to deliver me, to, to, to heal me. And I got the healing. Amen. So it has to do with faith. It has to do with making sure your heart is in a place of purity. Amen. Amen. Is in a place of purity. And then God can forgive. That's why it says forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. Amen. So as you forgive others, God is forgiving you. Remember the Bible says it doesn't matter. Sometimes people may do things to you 10 times, 15 times, 20 times. The Bible says 77 times 7. So if we just look at this from a spiritual aspect and a spiritual nature, then we will understand that. It's not about looking at the flesh of the person, but it's about dealing with the spirit. How do we deal with the spirit? Through prayer, okay? And dealing with the spirit with the spirit, not with our flesh, amen? Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, we are going to pray, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus concerning the coronavirus right now as I speak, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the coronavirus, Lord God, the corona right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm praying a prayer, Lord God, of healing. I'm praying a prayer, Lord God, for cleansing of those who are anybody who, Lord God, is dealing with the situation of corona, Lord God, even dealing with the, the after effects of corona, Heavenly Father. Corona, the after effects, Lord God, and any other thing dealing with the, 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 the lung area, anything dealing with the respiration and the breathing, Father God, any kind of pneumonias, Lord God, any kind of bronchitis and bronchitis, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we will be praying for that particular area right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Anybody dealing with asthma? severe allergies, bronchitis, bronchitis, COVID-19, the after effects of COVID-19, anything pertaining to that in the name of Jesus. I speak to you right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your very spirit on today in the precious name of Jesus. And I pray a prayer of faith in the name of Jesus as we come together on one accord. I'm speaking to your chest right now in the name of Jesus. And I'm speaking to every part of your chest. I'm speaking to your lungs. I'm speaking to even any, any kind of residue that is still sitting there on today. We know that sickness is not of God, but sickness is of the enemy. So I'm speaking to anyone that is sick with these particular issues on today. And I am commanding every single sickness to come out of your chest right now in the name of Jesus. Any residue that is left in your body pertaining to any sickness at all, I command it to come out in the name of Jesus. I command every seed that is lodged inside of your lungs to come out right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your spirit for your spirit to be aware on today in the name of Jesus, your spirit man, for it to be aware, for it to know that it has power and authority to pray alone, for it to know that it has power and authority to be aware over any serpent, scorpion, and demon. Lord God, you said you gave us, Lord God, the power to trample over them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you said what is in us, Lord God, great is he that is in me than he that is in the world, Father God. And we know that you are greater than any enemy, than any sickness. So I command every sickness, every sickness to come out of your chest, even any voodoo that may have caused this, I command the spirit to leave right now in the precious name of Jesus. I command you to dislodge right now, to be uprooted right now in the precious name of Jesus. Come out of the chest 
captive cap, cap, cavity come out of the lungs come out and cleanse 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 purify purify i command you to come out i command you to come out and i take you into a spiritual captivity with the name of jesus christ you are now arrested in the name of jesus you must come out of that individual as i speak on today no longer shall they suffer no longer shall they be in bondage with this sickness and those, Lord God, by faith, Lord God, those by faith, Lord God, I command this thing to be fully uprooted in the name of Jesus so that they are fully healed and restored on today in the name of Jesus. No matter if it was 10, 15 years of asthma, 20 years, even a whole life worth of asthma, we take that spirit and we put it into captivity on today in the name of Jesus. We bind it up right now with the word of God that is sharper than every two-edged sword which separates the very soul and the spirit and the bone and the marrow. Father God, in the name of Jesus, your word says whatever's binded on earth shall be binded in heaven, Lord God. And whatever's loosed on earth shall be loosed in heaven in the name of Jesus. I speak life, purity, and healing over your chest area, over your lung area, over your throat area. And I speak to every residue that every residue shall come out on today in the name of Jesus. Every single residue shall come out on today. May it be spewed out. May it be ejected out. May it be expelled out. However, God so desires for it to be expelled on today. But you shall no longer remain in their bodies. You shall no longer remain as a spirit of sickness. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is dealing with any kind of cancer, any time of any kind of terminal illness, cancer or terminal illness on today in the name of Jesus. Cancer, terminal illness, it doesn't matter if you are in the last stages. It doesn't matter if you're in stage one. Whatever the situation may be, it may be HIV. It may be some form of cancers. Any kind of cancer, people of God, any kind of cancer, brain cancer, tumor, any kind of cancer of the ovaries, any kind of breast cancer, any kind of cancer that is blocking Amen. The tubes of the individual, any prostate cancer, any cancer that is on any individual by faith, by faith, any cancer, terminal illness, whatever other diseases it may be, by faith, we will be praying a prayer for healing and deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm speaking to each and every individual on today, Lord God. And we're going to ask, Lord God, that they are in a place of forgiveness, Lord God, that their hearts are in a place of forgiveness, Lord God, as we pray this prayer of faith, Lord God. We remove the spirit of bitterness and we remove the spirit of, of unforgiveness. We uproot it right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to each and every individual, Lord God, that is watching, that are dealing with these situations, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now to your very body. I pray from the top of your head all the way down to the sole of your feet. From the top of your head all the way down to the sole of your feet. And I'm speaking to your spirit on today. I am speaking to your spirit, man. And I command it to wake up and to be aware in the name of Jesus. Excuse me. To wake up and to be aware in a place of awareness, in a state of awareness on today in the name of Jesus. Right now, I'm speaking to every single individual that is dealing with this situation. And I pray for full, full, full healing for your body in the name of Jesus. But Lord God, before we do that, Lord God, we are going to pray, Lord God, that anything that has harbored in them, Lord God, any seed that has taken root, Lord God, anything that is hiding, Father God, whether it's in their brains, where the tumors may be, whether it's in their heart, whether it's in the pieces of parts of their body, Lord God, wherever these seeds have taken root, Lord God, right now, we pray, Lord God, we pray for the very belly, Lord God, on today in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for the throat, Lord God, and we command every single seed that is hiding inside of there, that is lodged in there, that has begun to flower up and that has been to grow, that has begun to take root as a tree and that has remained there stumbling right now. You have remained there as a stumbling block. You have remained there very stubborn. But I speak to you right now. I speak to every seed, every plant right now to be uprooted. I command you to uproot right now 
in the name of Jesus. I command every seed in the belly to dislodge, to come up, to be uprooted right now in the name of Jesus. I command every seed, wherever you have taken root, whether it's in their minds, whether it's in their hearts, for unforgiveness and bitterness, whatever the situation may be that may have caused a sickness, even generational curses, I pray I pray for the healing, amen. I pray for the healing of that individual, for these generational curses. I pray right now that every seed be coming out right now. I command it to be spewed out. I command it to be ejected out right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to dislodge and to come out. I command every spirit that has been attacking them and tormenting their body right now to come out. I pray for the spirit of infirmities on each and every individual that is watching this live, including those sick with COVID and cancer. I command the spirit and the strong man of infirmity to come out along with every other associated spirit that is dealing with these sicknesses, that has caused these sicknesses to take place. I command the spirit of infirmity to come out right now. You shall dislodge, you shall be spewed out in the name of Jesus. You shall be expelled out. However, so the Lord desires, whether it's through the bowels, whether it's through the urine, whether it's through their nose, their nostrils, their mouth, whether it's through them coughing up, whether it's through them burping, but you shall be ejected on today, right now, in the name of Jesus. I command you to be ejected, and I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, no weapon formed against shall prosper in the precious name of Jesus. Your Bible, the Bible says in Psalms 23, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil because God is with us. His rod protects us and his staff, it comforts us. So in the name of Jesus, we are believing by faith that God's word has power and life in it in the name of Jesus. So right now we command every seed pertaining to these situations to be dislodged, to come out, to be cut asunder, to be decapitated right now in the name of Jesus. You shall no longer remain in their belly, in their body, in their brains, in their chest, in their hearts. And I'm speaking from head to toe. I pray, I pray, I pray right now that everyone that is dealing with the situation, that they are covered with the full blood of Jesus, that they are covered and they are fully healed. They are fully restored, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray a prayer of faith for healing and restoration and rebuilding of their bodies, rebuilding of every cell of their body, remaking, renewing, rejuvenation of the cells right now on today of their brain cells of their cells, of their marrow, Lord God, of their bones, Lord God, complete healing of their bones and their foundation, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, healing of the marrow, healing of the marrow, Heavenly Father, healing of the marrow, even, Lord God, even anybody with sickle cell, I hear, I hear sickle cell, anybody dealing with sickle cell on today, I pray for complete healing, I pray for complete healing over you. I command every spirit of infirmity, any generational curse that has been causing you to have this uh, sickle cell anemia and any associated anemia and any other blood problems on today, I bind it up right now in the name of Jesus. I bind up the spirit of infirmity off of your life. I bind up the generational curses off of your life right now in the name of Jesus. And I command every spirit of sickness to come out in the name of Jesus. If this is due to witchcraft from the generations, we bind that up right now in the name of Jesus. And I pray from the fourth generation all the way to the third, the second, the first generation, from the time of birth, wherever this situation has caused itself to remain and to take seed and take root, we bind it up right now. And I speak to your lives on today. I speak to your very body on today. I speak to your very spirit on today that you shall be healed by faith by faith you shall be healed. Faith come by hearing and by hearing the word of God. Lord God, we know that you are doing things in this season. We know you are doing things at all times, Lord God. You have predestined us to do your work, Heavenly Father, Lord God. And we know that there's authority in your name, Lord God. So right now we are praying, Lord God. You said by your stripes we are healed, Lord God. So we are praying, Lord God, for healing, Lord God. Right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we pray for healing and restoration for those dealing with those blood issues, Lord God. Sick of cell anemia, anemia, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm saying a special prayer right now, Lord God, as I speak, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. A special prayer, Lord God, for those individuals, Lord God, who are dealing with their womb, Lord God, their womb being closed up spiritually, Lord God. There are women right now who wish to conceive, Lord God, for their husbands, Heavenly Father. Women who wish to conceive for their husbands right now, Lord God. And right now, their wombs, 
Their wombs are spiritually closed up. Right now, they're dealing with blockages coming from the tubal area, Lord God. Blockages in their tube, Lord God. They're dealing with some kind of fibroids or whatever uh, sickness it may be, fibroids, uh, maybe ovarian cancer, anything that is in that pertaining to that particular situation, Lord God, anything causing them, Lord God, to be barren right now, Lord God, causing them to be in a stagnated place, Lord God. Lord God, we know that you commanded, Lord God, for us to be fruitful and multiply, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. So this is something that you desire, Heavenly Father, Lord God. You desire for us to be fruitful and multiply, Lord God. And we know that you honor marriage, Lord God. We know that you said marriage is honorable and the bed is undefiled, Heavenly Father, Lord God. So we know that it is something that you would desire for us, Lord God. And we know that as the, as the men have their sons, Lord God, and their daughters, Lord God, they will wish for someone to take their name and to, 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 to continue to allow their name to go on and go on, Lord God. Lord God, so we thank you for this, Lord God. We thank you for your word, Lord God. So by faith, because of your word pertaining to marriage, because of your word pertaining to being fruitful and multiply and spreading and making disciples of all the nations, Lord God, we are going to pray a special prayer for that right now, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus in advance, Father God. Every woman who is dealing with this situation, barrenness, sickness, and their ovaries in their tubal area, in the name of Jesus, even some cancers in that particular area. Father God, right now we will pray a prayer of faith for healing and deliverance. Right now I'm speaking to every seed, every seed that has taken root in any ovaries of any women, ovaries, any ovaries, any tubal area, whether it's the right tube or the left tube, and whether it's both tube, tubal area, right area, left area, both tubes, their stomach, their stomach, their stomach part, their belly part, and even down to their ovaries, their ovaries. Lord God, we're praying right now in the name of Jesus that anything that has taken root there, Lord God, anything that has taken root from bitterness, unforgiveness, any kind of spiritual attacks, any kind of spirit of infirmity that have been put on them in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray a prayer of faith, just like the woman with the issue of blood as she suffered for many years, but by faith, she was healed. Lord God, by faith she was healed. So, Father God, we're praying right now that everything that is in that area come out. I command it to come out. I command it to be spewed out on today. I command it to be ejected out. I command it to be cleansed. I command it to be dislodged in the name of Jesus. I command every spiritual seed that is not like Christ to dislodge out of your belly to dislodge out of your ovaries, to dislodge out of your right and your left tube on today, to dislodge out of the ovaries, out of the ovaries in the name of Jesus. I command the seeds and the plants that are there to be uprooted, to be uprooted right now in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted right now. And we take into captivity every demonic attack, every demonic spirit, every spirit of infirmity and sickness, every other spirit that has been causing this situation in the name of Jesus. Any unforgiveness, any bitterness in the name of Jesus, any unforgiveness and any bitterness, I pray right now for that very situation for each and every individual that is dealing with this right now in the name of Jesus. Those women who, who have had their tubes tied, who have had their tubes tied, and they believe by faith, they believe by faith, because faith come by hearing and by hearing the word of God. And believe by faith that God will do miracles right now. That God is doing miracles. He's constantly been doing miracles. That they have this kind of faith. I pray for them, Lord God. Because we know that there are plenty of women who are dealing with the tubal ligation. They may not have money to get it fixed. They may not have money to reverse it. So right now we know that money is nothing compared to you, Lord God. Money is nothing compared to your healing. Money is nothing compared to your miracles. So right now I'm speaking to each and every individual who, who desires who wishes to still conceive after the tubal ligation, I am praying, Lord God. I am praying for the unknotting of their tubes, Lord God. I am praying for their tubes to unknot right now in the name of Jesus. By faith, by faith, I'm praying for their tubes to unknot right now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for their tubes to grow back, Lord God, if it had been cut, whether it had been cut too far, whether it had been cut, cut, cut too far. I'm praying for it to grow back by faith, Lord God. By faith, Lord God. I'm praying for it to grow back by faith, Lord God. God's will. Let your will be done, Lord God. Your will. Your will, Lord God, for each and every individual. Your will. Let your will be done on their lives, Lord God. 
your will, Lord God. But we know, Lord God, that you desire for us to be fruitful and multiply, Heavenly Father. So, so those women who are dealing with the tubes that have been tied in the name of Jesus, I pray for your tubes to be untied if it's your desire, amen, to continue to conceive. Okay, if it's your desire to continue to, to, to conceive, if you have maybe regretted this and you have asked God to forgive you for it, whatever the situation may be, I'm praying by faith for untying of the tubes. I'm praying by faith for growth of the tubes in the name of Jesus. Father God, we believe by faith, Lord God, that this shall be done, Lord God. We believe by faith, Lord God, because we know that, Lord God, you have power, more power than human hands, Lord God, more power than human hands, Lord God. You can heal, Lord God, and you can fix any situation, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, we're praying for that situation right now in the name of Jesus, and we believe by faith, Lord God, that it shall be done, and it shall be so, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. I'm praying for each and every woman, each and every woman that has given birth recently, each and every woman that has given birth recently, each and every woman that has a newborn baby, and each and every woman that is dealing with a toddler, or each and every woman, period, that is lactating, those who are still lactating, whether they have a toddler one or two years old, it doesn't matter, a newborn baby, those who are lactating, I'm praying for abundance of your milk today. I'm praying for abundance of your milk supply on today. Abundance of the milk in the name of Jesus. I'm praying abundance of your milk right now in this time of pandemic. In this time of pandemic, where we know that the nutrients from the from the breast of the mother, the nutrients from the milk of the mother is very vital and important right now. Father God, I'm praying for abundance of milk supply in their bodies, Lord God, abundance of milk for their infants and for the young toddlers, Lord God, to continue to help them, Lord God, to continue to help maintain their health, Lord God. I'm praying for the parents that are lactating, Lord God, that you do something supernatural, Lord God, that you do something supernatural, Lord God, you bless them with all the nutrients and all that they need for their bodies as they breastfeed this baby, as they lactate, as they make more milk for this baby, Lord God. I pray that the baby receives every single nutrient had their toddler received every single nutrient in their body, Lord God, as this is coming from you, Lord God, by faith, that every single nutrient, every single vitamin C, every single, every single vitamin D, any vitamin shall come in abundance through their lactation, through their milk towards their baby, Lord God. And we're praying that prayer of faith, Lord God. I pray that you cover each and every mother that has just delivered, Lord God, that you heal their bodies, Lord God. Lord God, heal their bodies right now, Lord God. Give them a full healing, Lord God, and restoration in their bodies, Lord God. Cleanse up their wound, Lord God. Cleanse it, allow it to heal, Lord God. Allow it to heal, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, put your hedge of protection around them, Lord God. Put your hedge of protection around the newborn babies and the young children right now. Lord God, each and every child, Lord God. Put your hedge of protection around them, Lord God. Lord God, protect them from any of these diseases, Heavenly Father. Protect them from diseases, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. As we know that there are many vaccines, Heavenly Father, that are floating around, Lord God. So right now there are many believing by faith, Lord God, as they choose not to vaccinate their children for many different reasons, Heavenly Father. We pray that there will be a spiritual vaccine coming from up above, just helping these children with their immunity, Lord God, and helping these children with each and everything that they need in their bodies, Lord God. Cover them, Lord God. Cover them, Lord God, in this time and age, Lord God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, cover them. Cover all the newborn babies. Cover all the children, Lord God. Cover each and every child up to each and every age, Lord God. Cover the parents, Lord God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, cover them. Cover them right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm going to say a prayer, Lord God. Those who are still here, those who are here that will pray on one accord with me, intercessory prayer, Lord God. As we pray, Lord God, for the government, Lord God. As we pray for the government right now. As I pray for the government right now on one accord, Lord God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus, as we pray for the government, Lord God. That they are moved by your hands, Lord God. Those that you have put there, that you have chosen, Lord God, to do something different, Lord God, to be a light, Lord God. We pray that the light so brightly shines, Lord God, that it so brightly shines, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray that all the taunting, we pray that all the 
the taunting and all the evilness that are in the individuals, Lord God, that are in the top, Lord God, that are on top, Lord God, head of states, head of the United States, those type of people, Lord God, we are praying for the government, Lord God, and we're praying, Lord God, that there will be a mighty move of the Lord, a mighty move of the Lord that they can do nothing about, Lord God, that they will have no choice but to bow down and obey what God has said for them to do in the name of Jesus. We pray for the evilness and the bitterness of those individuals that are in leadership position in the government, in the churches, all around the world. We pray right now for those people who are, who are, they have so much money, they have an abundance of money, Lord God, who are not helping out the poor, Lord God. We pray for their hearts to turn. We pray for the hearts of the government to turn. We pray for the hearts of those who are able to help to turn right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for their hearts. We pray, Lord God, that they are as they're dealing with un unforgiveness and bitterness, that those things are uprooted, Lord God, by faith, that those things are uprooted, Lord God, that there will be a turning, Lord God, a turning of their heart, a turning of their minds, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that those people you have placed there, Lord God, you have chosen and that you have placed there, Lord God, we pray that their light shall shine, shine so brightly that they can speak the word of God. And that they can sow the seeds and be fruitful and multiply, Lord God, in that area, Lord God. We are praying for our nations right now, Lord God. We're praying for every spiritual attack of sickness that people have maybe put out there due to their evil nature, Lord God. We're praying for all those people who are satan satanists. We bind up right now the, the spirit of the enemy that is in them. We bind up the spirit of voodoo. We bind up the spirit of witchcraft. We bind up the spirit of, of we bind up the spirit of, of, of anything that is pertaining to negativity, black magic, white magic, whatever kind of, uh, of obia that they're doing right now, Lord God, in the United States and all around the world. We pray for those spirits, Lord God, right now to be dislodged, dismembered, decapitated in those individuals on today. It is not the people, Lord God. We don't hate nobody, Lord God. We, we don't desire to hate nobody, Lord God, but we pray for the spirits that are operating in these individuals, Lord God, right now on today, Lord God, even those that are in the government, Lord God, those that are in the household that are operating with the evil nature and the evil spirit, those that are doing other than serving the Lord in the homes, the homes that are divided, Lord God, with the people that are serving witchcraft and those serving the Lord, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We know that your word says in Amos chapter 3, verse 3, how can two walk together unless they are agreed? So, Father God, right now, Lord God, we're asking for a spiritual cleansing, Lord God, of those spirits, those spirits that are operating under the satanic laws and the satanic rules, the spirit of rebellion in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Your Bible says the rebellion is like witchcraft. So right now we are praying against all those spirits in the name of Jesus, in the individuals, the spirits, Lord God. Right now we ask that you decapitate those spirits right now that you cut them right now in the name of jesus that they be uprooted and dismantled in the name of jesus according to your word in micah chapter 5 verse 11 to 14 according to your word in micah chapter 5 verse 11 to 14 the dismantling of the ungodly the dismantling and ripping apart of those that are dealing with idolatry, those that are dealing with serving with other gods. We command that they be dismantled right now in the name of Jesus. Dismantled, dismantled, dismantled right now. Ripped apart, coming out, spewed out, ejected out, dislodged out of their positions right now in the name of Jesus. And I pray for spiritual captivity to each and every one of these spirits in the name of Jesus. We bind them up right now in the name of Jesus, in the precious name of Jesus. I speak to anyone that is out there that is maybe still listening now or even later on. Any other kind of sicknesses, any other kind of sicknesses that I may not have mentioned that you may be dealing with on today, any other kind of sicknesses that is not mentioned, by, pray, by faith I pray a prayer of healing to your very mind to your very body, to your very hands, carpal tunnel syndrome, to your hands, to your bones, thyroid issues. I pray for the thyroids of individuals, throat and neck issues, issues with the voice, issues with the voice, issues with the hearing, 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 Lord God, issues with the hearing, Lord God, issues with any blindness or seeing, Lord God. We know that you can do all things, Lord God. Anybody who is listening, who are dealing with any of these issues or other issues that are not mentioned, God knows your heart. God knows your situation. I pray for healing 
and restoration. I pray that the spirit of, of deaf, dumb, blind, mute spirits are coming up right now and are being spewed out right now, are being ejected and uprooted out of you right now. I pray for your eyes to be spiritually unveiled, spiritually unveiled and physically unveiled in the name of Jesus. I pray, I pray, I pray for your ears to be unclogged spiritually and physically, spiritually and physically. I pray for all of these to be removed in the spirit realm. A prayer for it to be removed in the spirit realm as it will manifest in the physical realm on your very bodies by faith, by faith. I pray for healing in those areas and any other areas that they are praying for in their hearts right now, Lord God. I pray for the nations, Lord God. I pray for the nations, Lord God, that are dealing right now with the spirit of hate, Lord God. The spirit of hate, Lord God, and racism, Lord God. Any other thing pertaining to the spirit of hate, Lord God. I pray for the for the arrogant and the haughty individuals, Lord God. Because right now we know that it's a spirit, Lord God. We know that it's a spirit. So right now we know that it's not them. So we pray for the individuals, Lord God, by faith. But yet the spirit that is operating in them, Lord God, I pray and I command right now for those spirits to come out in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Your word says that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm praying a prayer for them to for them to bow down spiritually in the name of Jesus, to reverence the Lord in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as I speak right now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for any any individual that are dealing with the spirit of infirmity pertaining to allergies, allergies right now, allergies, allergies. A lot of times scientists say they don't know where allergies come from. They don't know where it comes from, but we know that everything is of a spiritual nature. There's no proof. There's no understanding where allergies come from. So right now, I'm praying for the spirit of infirmity pertaining to allergies. Allergies. Right now, in the name of Jesus, anybody dealing with allergies, I pray for your very body on today. I pray for your mucous membranes as allergy causes mucus to come in abundance. I pray for your mucous membranes to heal. I pray for healing of your mucous membranes. I pray for healing, healing, healing of your mucous membranes on today. And I pray that the spirit of infirmity is uprooted out of your body right now. I command it in the name of Jesus to go and to leave your body right now, to be uprooted right now, be dislodged, be dislodged and come out in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of infirmity, any mucus, any excess mucus, I command for the mucus membranes in the name of Jesus to be healed and back to the normal function that God has designed. Back to normal functioning of your mucus membranes in the name of Jesus. I pray a prayer of faith and healing over your very throat, over your very chest area, as we know that allergies manifest in those areas. Any seed that is in your belly pertaining to that, in the name of Jesus, anything in your head area, your head area causing headaches due to allergies, causing headaches due to allergies. A lot of people don't understand. They're unaware that a lot of headaches come from allergies. So right now we bind up that spirit of infirmity that is causing headaches unbeknown to the individuals pertaining to allergies, Lord God, seasonal allergies, allergies of the food, allergies of medicine. We bind up the spirit of infirmity right now in the name of Jesus. And I command it to go in Jesus' name. I command the spirit of infirmity to go and to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus. And I pray for healing and restoration. Healing and restoration in the name of Jesus. Right now I say a prayer for every single home. Every single home in the name of Jesus. Every single home all across, across the world who are willing to receive the prayer that their homes, Lord God, that their homes, Lord God, are honoring you, Lord God, that they are worshiping you, Lord God, that the homes are desired to doing the right will of God in their lives, the will of God in their lives right now. And I pray, Lord God, that those who are in the homes to be a light to one another, Lord God, to be a light, even as they go out to the doctors, even as they go out to the hospitals, even as they go out in the streets, even as they go out into the marketplace, Lord God, each and every individual in that home, Lord God, that they are a light, Lord God, that they are light, your light, Lord God, showing, showing the very nature of Jesus in their body, spreading the seeds of righteousness out there, Lord God, 
in the name of Jesus. I pray for the covering of their homes, Lord God. The blood of Jesus over their homes, Lord God. The spiritual blood of Jesus over their homes, Lord God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for covering, Lord God. Covering over each and every home, Lord God. Each and every home out there, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for awareness, spiritual awareness for the leaders that are in the home, Lord God, who are teaching a other doctrine, who are teaching a, a masonry, who are teaching anything else that is other than, than God, what God has designed, cult-like. I'm praying for those who are teaching cult-like, Lord God, doctrines, Lord God. I'm praying, Lord God, that their eyes be spiritually aware and spiritually open right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, unveil their eyes, Lord God. Reveal to them, Lord God. Give them revelation, Lord God, right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Let them not, Lord God. Let them be aware, Lord God, so that way they don't lose out, Lord God. Help them to be aware, Lord God. I pray for the people, Lord God, that are around them, that are surrounding them, that are in their neighborhoods, Lord God, to let them be aware, to go spread the word, to give an awareness, to give an awareness of what God is doing, what God has been doing, to give awareness of the authority in Christ Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, give them revelation, Lord God. Give them revelation right now, Lord God. Give each and every individual revelation, Lord God, that you are coming back soon, Lord God. You are coming back soon, Lord God. And you're coming for a church, Lord God, that will be without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, Lord God. A holy and pure church, Father God. So right now, Lord God, I thank you for each and every individual, Lord God, that has been watching, that have received the prayers, Lord God, all around the world, Lord God, wherever they are, Lord God. doesn't matter what language, Lord God, but we know that prayer is prayer, and a prayer of faith is a prayer of faith. And Lord God, we pray for each and every individual all around the world, Lord God. Everybody watching this live, everybody watching this live, those that are sharing the live, those who are spreading the word through their mouth, Lord God, those who are showing the video, whomever, however it's done, Lord God, we are praying a prayer of faith for each and everybody that listens from now and here on after, Lord God, for healing and restoration, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, for what you've done on today by faith. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for what you've done, Lord God, by faith, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We believe you, Lord God. We believe your word, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we love you. We thank you, Lord God. We lift you up, Lord God, and we just want to bless your holy name on today, Father God. I pray that everybody has a blessed, wonderful day in the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good day for each and every individual that has joined this live. Good day. Good day. Good day, Prophetess Nicole, Lisa. Uh, good day, everyone. Willie, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You guys have a wonderfully blessed day in the Lord. Amen. Amen.